in our previous lesson we understood the meaning of longitudes longitudes are angular distance of a point to the east and west of the prime meridian now we shall try to understand how we can number these longitudes now if this point is n the angular distance between cn and cp is 30 degree so this longitude or line passing through point p makes an angle of 30 degree with the prime meridian so how should we number this particular longitude well since the angular distance is 30 degree so first we shall number it as 30 degree and since this longitude lie to the west of the prime meridian so a suffix w is added to this number so we can demarcate this particular longitude as 30 degree west now what about this line well the angular distance between this line passing through q is 20 degree from the prime meridian so the number that we can assign to this longitude is 20 degree now as we can see from this picture this longitude lie to the east of the prime meridian so we will add a suffix e after this number so this longitude will be demarcated or marked as 20 degree east so this is the way we number the longitudes the longitudes are numbered according to the angular distance from the prime meridian and the direction in context to the prime meridian so in our previous slide we saw that this longitude can be marked as 30 degree west while this longitude lying to the east of the prime meridian can be marked as 20 degree east now let us take another line that lie to the west of the prime meridian and suppose this particular line makes an angle of 50 degree with the prime meridian so how will you number this line as i just mentioned the number that can be assigned to this longitude is 50 degree since it makes an angular distance of 50 degree with the prime meridian so 50 degree is the number and since this longitude lie to the west of the prime meridian so a suffix w is added after the number so this particular longitude can be marked as 50 degree west similarly if we take another longitude in the eastern hemisphere and suppose the angular distance between this longitude and the prime meridian this angular distance is 70 degree then this particular longitude can be marked as yes it can be marked as 70 degree east this number 70 degree denotes the angular distance between this longitude and the prime meridian while e or east denotes the direction in which it lies with respect to the prime meridian so this is the way in which we mark or demarcate the longitude so we understood that the longitudes are drawn or numbered with respect to the prime meridian now what is the number that we can assign to the prime meridian where in our previous video i mentioned that prime meridian is the reference meridian and prime meridian is the 0 degree longitude that is we can assign the number 0 degree to the prime meridian this is because prime meridian lies in the orbital plane in this picture 
this circle is the orbital plane and C is the center of the earth. Now if we take a point N that touches both the prime meridian and the orbital plane then draw a line from C to N we shall find that this line C N lies on the orbital plane that is if this is the orbital plane then C N lies on this orbital plane since C N lies on orbital plane so it makes an angle of 0 degree with the orbital plane. Now prime meridian is drawn through this point or prime meridian passes through point N. So the number that we can assign to the prime meridian is 0 degree. So prime meridian is the 0 degree longitude. Previously we learned that all the longitudes are drawn or demarcated with respect to the prime meridian. So starting from the prime meridian if the longitudes are drawn at an interval of 1 degree then this line will be 1 degree east. The next line will be 2 degree east. Similarly the line next to it will be 3 degree east. Now coming to the west if we draw a longitude at an interval of 1 degree from the prime meridian the longitude will be 1 degree west. The next longitude will be 2 degree west and likewise we shall continue to 3 degree west, 4 degree west etc. So here we find that all the longitudes are drawn with reference to the prime meridian and this is the reason why the lines of longitudes are also known as meridians because they are drawn or demarcated with respect to the prime meridian. Now while discussing about the longitudes I mentioned that the longitudes are equidistant or parallel from one another. Now unlike latitudes the longitudes are not equidistant. The distance between two consecutive longitudes decreases as one moves from the equator towards the poles. To understand this carefully study the picture. See the gap or the distance between two consecutive longitudes is greatest or maximum at the equator and as we move towards the poles from the equator the distance gradually decreases and at the pole the longitudes actually converge or meet. So the distance between two consecutive longitudes at the poles is 0. Thus we can also say that the distance between two consecutive longitudes is maximum at the equator and minimum at the poles. The distance between two consecutive longitudes varies due to the spherical shape of the earth. In other words since the earth is a sphere so it is bulging at the equator while it is tapering at the poles. And since the earth is bulging at the equator, so if we draw vertical lines on the globe, the distance between two consecutive longitudes will be maximum or greatest at the equator while the distance will be minimum at the poles. So this is the reason why the distance between two longitudes differs. So this is all about the distance between two longitudes. Now what about the size of these lines? I have mentioned in my previous lesson that longitudes are vertical lines running from north to south pole. So the longitudes run from north to south and these longitudes are of equal length. That is the size of all the longitudes are the same 
and they run from the North Pole to the South Pole. So the size of latitudes differs, that is the equator is the greatest one while the other latitudes are smaller than the equator. But all the lines of longitudes are of equal length. Now can you tell me how many longitudes are there in total? We know prime meridian divides the earth into eastern and western hemisphere and prime meridian is the zero degree longitude. Now if we have a look of the globe from the top of the north pole which is represented by point n then the angular distance between zero degree and the longitude lying just opposite to it will be 180 degree. So this longitude is 180 degree longitude. Now if we draw other longitudes lying one degree to the east of 0 degree then the longitudes will be marked as 1 degree east, 2 degree east, 3 degree east and likewise it will continue till 179 degree east. Now if you count them there will be 179 longitudes in the eastern hemisphere. Similarly there will be 179 longitudes in the western hemisphere. So how many longitudes are there in total? 0 degree and 180 degree are two longitudes, rest there are 179 longitudes in the east and in the west. So in total there are 360 longitudes. So now can you help me to answer this question? How many longitudes are there in total? 360, 180, 90 or 24? Yes, the correct answer is 360. So there are 360 lines of longitudes in total. So we understood the concept of longitudes. We also learned how to number longitudes and how to name them. So now we shall quickly summarize the different characteristics of longitudes. Longitudes as we know are angular distance of a point to the east or west of the prime meridian. So if this vertical line is the prime meridian then this particular longitudes denote the angular distance between prime meridian and this longitude. The longitudes are imaginary vertical lines and they run in north-south direction. See, the longitudes are vertical lines and they run from north pole to south pole. All the longitudes are of equal length. So, the size of all the longitudes are the same. So, although the size of latitudes varies, that is equator is the greatest one and other latitudes are smaller than the equator. But all the longitudes are of equal sizes, that is the size of other longitudes is equal to the size of the prime meridian. So, all the longitudes are of equal length. I also mentioned that the distance or the gap between two consecutive longitudes is maximum at the equator and minimum at the poles. That is the gap or the distance between two consecutive longitudes is greatest at the equator and as one moves from the equator towards the pole the gap decreases and at the poles the longitudes actually converge or meet. So the distance between two consecutive longitudes is not uniform throughout. It is maximum at the equator and minimum at the poles. And finally, we calculated that there are 360 longitudes in total. That is 0 degree prime meridian in the middle, 180 degree lying to the opposite of it and 179 in the east and 179 in the west. So if we add them up, then we will get 360 longitudes in total. So these are the important characteristics of longitudes. Now you can pause the video and have a closer look at it.
So in today's video, we learned about different characteristics of longitudes. In our next video, we shall distinguish between longitudes and latitudes. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now